Former Fox News host Bill O'Reilly appeared on Chris Cuomo's show on News Nation to discuss the Dominion defamation lawsuit against his former employer, Fox News. And uh, I am not a fan of Bill O'Reilly. I dislike him. It was an interesting conversation, though, because of uh, his role or former role at Fox News to hear him say he thinks this is a catastrophe for them. Take a look. What we're seeing with Dominion, I'm not in the business of wishing ill. I think that suit probably settles. I am shocked they've let it go as far as they have, especially when they're obviously worried about what they're disclosing, as we saw uh, the judge pointing out today. Um, they got caught doing what they always do. And aren't you surprised that they're playing at going to trial? These people are going to have to testify. A little bit. That I just had. Are you really going to put your anchor in the chair with a trained litigator who is going to rip them to shreds? Okay, let me make a few points about this. Jury selection starts tomorrow. First mm -hmm. testimony on Monday. Rupert Murdoch will be called very quickly. Um, and a good lawyer will not make him look good. There's no doubt about it. So you would think that Rupert Murdoch, who calls the shots, um, would try to settle. So now I believe that Dominion didn't want to settle. That Dominion mm -hmm. believes it's going to win its case. And in, on top of the $1.6 billion it's asking, the jury of regular folks will give it punitive damages as well, which could lift it up to $2 billion. Now, a federal judge will bust that down. Um, but it's a catastrophe for the Fox News channel. There's Is no it? doubt. No, no cameras in a courtroom are, that's a benefit to Fox. Okay, we'll stop it there. But it's an interesting point to think, why hasn't this case been settled yet? Because Fox News has to have wanted that. Maybe it's because Dominion does it and they think they can win. And it's gotten this far, and we've seen all the things that are already coming out about it. I think they could win. And I think that would be so significant accountability for the lies that were spread knowingly on Fox News. And I've said it before, but if we're going to have defamation, how does this not apply? Now, if you want to say we shouldn't have defamation as um, even a legal process, a legal... Uh, recourse, then that's a different argument. But if we're going to have defamation lawsuits, this has to fall within that. Come on. I mean, we have behind the scenes, the hosts laughing about and making fun of and freaking out over the absurd claims being made by individuals who then they were bringing on air and helping them to perpetuate those very lies. And things being said by the hosts themselves were lies. And everyone at Fox knew it. If you can gather uh, evidence of clear lies being told that are clearly lies on air, consistently, um, and also set next to that private communications, text messages, emails of them going, oh, can you believe all that stuff is being said? It's absurd. That has to be defamation, right? Come on. And then clearly it was doing damage. I mean, Dominion Voting Systems has experienced significant uh, damage, not to mention the uh, threats that have been sent their way because of all these conspiracy theories. So We'll see how it all goes. Really fascinated to see and excited that an actual trial is coming up. Maybe we actually will see something that's not super common when covering American politics. Accountability for lies.